we're Rich and Chris, and we're having a really rough start to our new season. But now we're doing something different. Lots of lessons were learned on this trip. Okay, here's a piece of packing advice that I gave and I we did not do. It was two days full of riding and pouring rain and numerous accidents that kept us on our toes. And once at our campsite, the lessons continued. But the show must go on. Very nervous, we're getting ready to walk over and do our little speech for the MOA Georgia Rally. Yeah. A huge announcement because we are getting ready to embark on kind of a pretty big deal for us. Again. Again. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not forget that. Again. It, yes. It, quick, Real quickly, if you followed us along, you know that our first year that we were out on the road, we tent camped off of two motorcycles, one Bush Tech trailer. Let's emphasize we had a trailer. Yes. <laughs> our second year, we had a trailer too. Yes, but it was a big camper. Well, it was a pop-up motorcycle trailer. Yes, yes. But, but that's what I mean. It was a camper. Yeah. It was a big camper that <laughs> yes. we pulled behind the motorcycles. Yes. Right now, we are traveling in what's called a hybrid camper with a truck. They they get trailered on the truck. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> yeah. okay. But now, we're doing something different. Yes. We're going to load up everything we can on just the bikes and no, head out. No trailer. No trailer this time. <laughs> just bikes. Yes. And, I, you know, I have to honestly say, Richard could go with just a pair of underwear and his ditty bag. Well, I, maybe two pairs of underwear. We don't want it to, you <laughs> yeah, know, stand up in the car. I think he's been very gracious with me about pulling trailers and bringing up, bringing all of my stuff, including the kitchen sink. However, yeah. we are going to put everything on two motorcycles. We are going to tent camp. We are going to cook. We are going to go out and enjoy the wilderness. And, yeah. That's the plan. <laughs> but first... We got to make our way to Hiawassee, Georgia to go to the BMW MOA rally for in Georgia. So they've asked us to do a speak over there and yes. we don't know what we're going to talk about. It's this probably going to be it's probably going to be our first speech and our Ev last speech. From there, we are going to wander through Georgia, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Now what we need to do is pack the motorcycles. We are going to give you just mm -hmm. a very broad outline of what we're bringing. I think along the way when we hit a campground, we'll get into more detail to help you on your next motorcycle trip yep. of the things to pack. Because I really feel when we went out the first year, we did four purges and we mailed stuff back to friends and family to keep for us. And so mm -hmm. I really think we've got it dialed down. Yep. and we know what we need to bring we know what we should not bring yep. because there are walmarts everywhere and anything that we don't use on this trip is never going to go with us again so let's go over my stuff first of all on my tiger i have two panniers and this top bag yep the top bag is going to hold all of our computer stuff we've padded it a little bit to give the computers um, and the hard drives some extra protection um, these two bags here um, I don't know. I, you know, yeah, I w I'm sure I'll fill them. I know I will. <laughs> this bag here is going to have my clothes. This bag here is going to have everything else that a female needs to travel with. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> okay. okay. All right. I have my Nelson rig dry bag. And this is going to carry all of our cooking and eating. So it's going to have uh, our pots and pans, our silverware, our coffee pot, coffee mugs, um, extra food so that we don't have to stop at the store every single day on this trip. But we plan on doing most of our cooking and eating in camp. And that's going to go on my back seat. Right there. All right. These two giant, I call them pencils. I don't know. They, they're giant. They look like an eraser. Yeah, they look like an eraser. They, yeah, I guess it's going to be giant tail lights on the back of my motorcycle but these two dry bags hold three things they hold our sleeping bags our sleeping pads and our pillows now our sleeping bags are more on the bigger size but our motto is always just kind of take what you have and right now we're traveling with these types of sleeping bags maybe in the future we'll get something a little lighter and smaller but this is what I have so this is Richard's which is gonna go on this pannier and this is mine, which will go on the other pan here. I will light up like a Christmas tree. <laughs> okay, and you got one more bag. What I is that doing? one more bag. Uh, you can't even buy these anymore. This is our old um, dry bag that we bought like 34 years ago. It's still in awesome shape. Anyway, it's going to carry some coats and uh, rain gear that um, 
we can't fit anywhere else. I don't know what to say. And that's going to go right there. So. I, I think that's pretty good. I am probably, I feel like I'm overloaded. <laughs> Actually, your stuff is pretty light. So this yeah. stuff, the stuff that's on Chris's, it looks big. It looks big and everything, but it's actually pretty light compared to what I've got. Yeah. So okay. what have I got? I took the top box off of the GS because we have a big soft duffel bag and we need to carry the cooler and I don't want the cooler to be this tall. So in this bag, in this, I have all of our camping. In other words, we have the tent, we have the cots, we have chairs, we have power. This power supply, which is our Blue Eddy uh, EB55. We need this because of the channel to actually do the, the editing and, and stuff on the road. You may want to have one of these. It's small enough to fit inside somewhere. Not the, he not the lightest thing, but not too heavy. You can run a fan all night or maybe even a small CPAP machine all night on it. So if you meet, need it, um, we will also have our old solar. I'm going to bring the electric charger for this so we can plug it in somewhere to charge it up very fast. Or if we want to just leave it out in the sun, we can. Okay. Also going to have our cooler. The cooler is going to sit on this back right here and be strapped down to it. Inside this pannier, I have the of it or the stove the single burner stove that we purchased some extra fuel bottles and uh, miscellaneous tools and some extra gloves maybe some neck scarfs and things like this and then, then this pannier will be all of the clothes that i need even though chris looks like she has more stuff on it this is actually probably twice as heavy as the gear that she has on hers yes so we have the 1250 with the heavy gear. Don't think that it's just because it looks light, it is. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you that's what want, we got. You don't want people thinking the little woman's, you know, pulling all the weight. <laughs> Next stop is Max's house and then to Hiawassee, Georgia. Mm -hmm. Anyway, real quick, what we wanted to mention is that we have switched to a new motorcycle cover from Nelson Rig. It's Nelson Rig Adventure Cover for adventure motorcycles, but they make them for all uh, makes and covers. These are a full length cover. And I really think this one would fit like a like the Road Glide, like Miss, yes. Miss Alice. It's so big. It's yes. awesome. Yes. If you are interested in ordering any of the Nelson Rig products that they have, here's what you need to do. You uh, don't go to Amazon because we have a discount code to give you. So you need to go to the Nelson Rig website. Go ahead and select your order, whatever it is, tank bag, motorcycle cover, whatever. When you go to check out, use this discount code to get 15% off. And if you're like me and you like to save money, this is a good deal. So put in two, the number two, WBL15. That's what you need to do. Two, WBL15, and you'll get 15% off on the, your order of whatever Nelson Rig product you wanna buy. Also, if your order is over $50, they'll give you free shipping. Uh, the reason, the, one of the reasons that we switched is the fact that our previous motorcycle covers were not 100% waterproof. Right, I, and, I took them off. I took those covers off a couple different times in the rain, you know, with the rain, and, and the seat was soaked. I'm like, well, this isn't gonna work. No, and these covers have been sitting outside with the rain all night. Everything's, we've pa totally packed them so we can leave. Everything mm. is nice and tight and dry. Yep. Um, the seams are all sealed. It's just an awesome cover. All right, we gotta go, bye. It's gonna get, it's <laughs> gonna get wet, and we're heading to Nashville right now. Yes. We're off. I got the Nelson Rig rain gear on. Yeah, it was supposed to be this pretty green color, but I got the hot. It came in high vis yellow. Y'all can't miss me out on the road with my, you know, racer butt and the the canary yellow thing going down the road. But I'll be visible. All right, need to get going. Yeah, it's really raining. I need a hat. packing advice that I gave and I, we did not do. If you can't do a one, an overnighter, at least do a trial run. We didn't do a trial run. So as we headed out today, I realized I have too much weight on the very back of my motorcycle. I'm going to move the, uh, the straw bag up to my back seat. Thank you.
because it's a little squirrely on that front tire, especially in the rain. So, packing tip, very important. Do a dry run, if at all possible. Yeah. What can I say? If you're wondering why we're not just waiting here, waiting the storm out, and uh, then head on out. Unfortunately, the storm is moving in the exact direction we need to go. So, we feel like we want to get ahead of the storm and hopefully kind of um, run in front of it for as long yeah. as we can. So, that's yeah, we can. So, that's the goal. <laughs> All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let's go get wet. Let's go motor comp moto camping, they said. It would be fun, they said. In the rain? In the rain. I don't think they've ever said that. <laughs> trucker down there. Wow. What stopped him? A tree? Looks like it. Whew. And the, his trailer didn't even flip over. Hope he's no. okay. Oh, there's a car over here. A truck over here. Oh, man. There's a pickup here. Okay, we made it late last night to Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, did some bunker biker stuff here at our son's house. Okay. Bunker biker. Yeah, really? we're calling him a bunker biker. biker. <laughs> okay, here's what I wanted to say. This is we, our. Wait a minute. It's not bunker biker. We just came to visit our son. We did. Love you, Max. We made some mistakes. <laughs> and learn from them. So I'm gonna share them. I'm gonna be honest of what we've done so far that I would redo next time around. It has been a long time since we have traveled just on the motorcycles. I think the last time we did it was 1989. Here's the mistakes that I have made. Um, my bike is too heavy. It's too overloaded. I brought things that I would not normally, I, I won't bring the next time we go out, that's for sure. My shampoo bottle. I brought a way too big of a bottle of shampoo. <laughs> Um, I brought two pairs of shoes. I brought my tennis shoes and my slip-on shoes. <laughs> it's so funny because if you remember at the beginning of this trip, here's what we said. And so I really think we've got it dialed down yep. and we know what we need to bring. We know what we should not bring yep. because there are Walmarts everywhere. Yeah. Never say something like that again. <laughs> the other thing we found out is our panniers are not 100% waterproof. Well, mine waterproof. are not. My, my stuff got a little wet too. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. So yeah. let's let's clarify something. The Harley has dry boxes. Oh. They were totally, totally dry. <laughs> okay. Here, we're not. And we have never ridden through all day, 100% yeah. yeah. downpour, thunder, lightning, crackling, booming, banging. It's, yeah. it was a downpour to Memphis. Yes. Right. Let's go get wet again. What do you huh? think? You ready to go get wet again? We are. <laughs> but I know we got no choice. We <laughs> just, know. you know, we have no choice in the matter. No, we have to be in Hiawassee. Tomorrow, Adapt, today. overcome, conquer. Uh, and get wet. Yep. <laughs> we'll, we'll see you there. <laughs> I'm not looking forward to this. I am and I am. I love motorcycle riding. Rain is another thing. I don't mind the sprinkles, but yeah, we'll see. Tip you guys to death on this trip just because I'm learning so much. Okay, one thing is tuck. Here's what we didn't do yesterday. We didn't tuck our shirts into our pants. And so the water got on the shirts and then wicked up. Wicked up and down and onto the pants. Yes. So tuck everything. And the second tip I have is if your rain jacket has a hood, 
wear it. <laughs> Which Do it I like this. Here, watch. Which I didn't do yesterday because I again I just have never ridden in that type of rain and so the rain went down it got the back of my sweater wet wet and then it just went straight down my back so all right those are two quick tips for you <laughs> again learn from our mistakes okay we uh, stopped at a rest stop for a bite to lunch <laughs> having difficulty walking yeah anyway <laughs> what do we have for lunch let's see. Some of these things are awesome. Yep. Yeah. Because you can just take them right out of the pan, right out of the packet. Yep. And we did manage to bring some crackers with us. That's yep. the only ones though. No yeah, more. No more. Than <laughs> and then cheese and uh, yeah. Okay. So what do you what do you want to tell well, us? Well, I wanted to think about traveling and how we've been able. We got drenched yesterday, but we knew that if we stopped, it would have been a 24 hours. We would have to find a hotel and stay there for two days to get here, right? So we knew we needed, we, by looking at our apps, we knew we needed to keep going. And then today we pulled up the app again and there's two little storms that are passing through and we're doing our best to stay in the middle of them, okay? And so what app is it that we have? This app I have is called, it's called Climb and it's by National Weather, the NOOA. Shows lots of different features, but here you can see where we're kind of staying in between these storms. Okay, well we also use AccuWeather because that gives us to the hour of where our location is. And this one gives us if there's rain soon or, or what. So we're gonna have lunch and avoid that and keep going east. Comes rain again. <laughs> so here comes the rain again. Time to no rest for the wicked. Unbelievable. So we stopped for gas. Yeah, and, and it you was know. Hot. And immediately I was hot, so I was like, hey, we're looking, the weather's looking good. Let's take my rain pants off. Take my rain pants off, and immediately it starts raining. Yeah, you'll dry. You got a couple sure. hours, you'll be dry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm then, totally wet. And then to, make insult, to add insult to injury, we missed, we our missed turn, the turn. So we had to do like, three loops on this clover thing yeah. right in the the heart. midst of it <laughs> dumb on our fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Stay dry. Stay. All right, good morning. Ooh, sound of a motorcycle. Yeah, buddy. We are in motorcycle country. So we're here this morning. We're, um, very nervous. We're getting ready to walk over and do our little speech for the MOA Georgia rally. Yeah. And uh, did I mention we were nervous? Yeah. Do I look nervous? Yeah. Do I feel nervous? Yeah. I don't know what else to say other than I hope this goes well because we are absolutely winging it. It'll be good, right? Yes, it's gonna be awesome. Bridger's nervous too. A little bit. <laughs> I had been watching this couple on YouTube and uh, they had a really sort of unique way of uh, presenting um, their adventure. At some point in time they said, we're just going to start traveling the country on our motorcycles and we're going to put honest 
accounts of our trials and tribulations as we travel around the country. And so I really thought it would be interesting for them to come to see you guys. All good things must come to an end. We are done with our stay here at the hotel. We're done with our speech. The MOA rally of Georgia is over and done with. And now it's time to head out for our first night of tent camping. And we're gonna head to a fairgrounds because we've never tried this before, but we've heard that fairgrounds are have awesome camping, or some of them do, and uh, are relatively inexpensive. So we'll let you know as soon as we get there and it's like really close by. Did you tell them how far we're going? <laughs> I just said it was close by. <laughs> It took longer to pack up the motorcycles than it did to ride over to this campground. <laughs> but we're here. We're trying to see in if they have availability. And crush fingers. Here we go. What's the scoop? Well, we can choose. Oh, nice. It's always good to have options. Yeah. <laughs> All sites have water and electricity. Okay. Uh, 27 bucks. For two nights or one night? Per night. Per night. Oh, so they're not as inexpensive as I thought. <laughs> but water and electricity. Okay. Here's a tip that we have, because this is what we did not do, which is when you buy a new tent, try to, you know, at least set it up once at home. So here we have a brand new tent. And when's the first time we're going to set it up? Now. <laughs> So, yeah, there might not be a lot of recording of this one because it'll probably be like, mm, I don't well, know. It should be pretty easy, though. It's it's just like the old tent we used to have when we first, first, first year we yeah. did this. So, yeah. when we were still had a job, we had a 10 by 10 dome tent with two poles. So, yep. it should be, should be pretty simple. Yeah, so we have scoped out the ground. It is nice and level here. We've scoped out where the sun sets, where the sun rises, because it is supposed to get chilly tonight. So, we want to get first sun on the tent. So yes. where we're going to set up is right here in this little spot here. General. For the first time out of the box, this tent was a breeze. Oh my gosh, like five minutes tops and it was up and we didn't know what we were doing. So <laughs> yeah, and it's big. Check it out. Yeah, I haven't done this in a while. To keep things organized, one thing that we always do is, because everything comes in a stuff sack, so we gather all those stuff sacks. Yeah, say that three times. <laughs> we, gather, we gather all those and we put it into one bag. That way, when it comes time to leave, we're not hunting around for anything. We just pull out one bag and uh, empty it out and it's got all the stuff sacks that the stuff needs to get stuffed into. Yeah. The stuff for the stuff. <laughs> All right. You're pointing at me and I got my ear plugs in, so. <laughs> Go back to work. <laughs> I'm going in. Okay. All right, I thought I would give you a quick tour of um, our camping setup as it stands today. So, Lucy, Desi. <laughs> and then we have some stuff stored up there. The other side of the tent has our clothes, um, some dirty laundry, my dry bag, which has some extra food and our cooking stuff that we carry. There you go. It's actually pretty roomy when you think about it. I mean, we go from here to way over here. I mean, it's, so you can almost stand up right in the middle. The biggest thing is that really scares us or the biggest thing that worries us is any type of rain. And I'll show you why. Guess where we're at? <laughs> we, Shopping. We made it to campsite. We set up the tent. We're ready to go. Now we need to stock up on a couple days of food so then we can just do some riding and not have to worry about it. So we're going to pop in here real quick. Got a list. In, out, back to camp. And there we go. <laughs> 